Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Lucas here. Super excited to do like a little Ableton tutorial uh, with some tips and tricks here. Um, I've been working on some drum rack stuff in Ableton, and it's one of my favorite features or sort of just one of my favorite things to work with in Ableton because it's very customizable and just racks in general are great. Um, so I'll get right into it here. What I did, as you can see, is I made a folder for myself and just basically built some drum kits for me. Um, obviously that takes some time, so it's, it can be kind of tedious depending on, uh, you know, how, how interested you are in making your own custom kits. But what I really wanted to get out of this is I wanted to stay away from any kind of like VST plugins or any really unnecessary stuff. And I just wanted to get down and dirty and get some of the samples that I really like and build kits together with them um, so I could just load them up and swap them out easily and, and really just have minimal issues programming drums quickly. Um, and then to take it a step further, what I started doing as well is I made myself an audio effect rack, which is basically a group of effects that... Um, essentially emulate like a, a nice little drum bus for me so I can do really quick processing here um, not really have to spend too much time you know adding a bunch of effects and and whatnot if you look here as well um, each of the individual drums I have effects preloaded in here too you know some compression EQ but it's not doing anything too crazy right now but they're there it doesn't take up too much CPU and you know, I don't have to load up all this stuff every time I'm trying to make a beat or record a song or whatever. So, you know, if if you're really trying to get some stuff going quickly, speed up workflow, or you got clients uh, that, you know, are, aren't trying to, uh, you know, ha wait all that time, you can definitely get a lot of presets in here and swap between them easily. Um, I'll show you what this little pop drum set sounds like here. And then I'll show you how I set up this uh, drum rack. Uh, I'm sorry, this uh, processor, the audio effect rack is what it's called. So this is my uh, pop drum kit. And so I'll show you what some of these knobs do. Basically, it's pretty simple. I just put a, an analog clip like a saturator here, parallel compression with the wet dry at 50. Um, some of these knobs are inverses of each other. So as the drive goes up, the output goes down to compensate. Same thing with threshold and makeup. And then I have a low pass and a high pass for good measure. It's just nice to, you know, to create like new sections and stuff on the fly. I'll, I'll just show you how this sounds real quick. And just so you know, if you weren't aware, when you hit map, um, you can uh, twiddle under these knobs and then map it to these macros. And then the great thing is that you can adjust the minimum and maximum ratios here. So that's how I set up these inverses of each other. So as the drive goes up, the, the output goes down. You can see that over here. I'll just show you how this sounds real quick. So, so that's the mapping window. And then so I'll just play this beat and, and mess around with some of these knobs. You'll see it's subtle. I didn't want to make it huge. Like it's not distortion. I kind of wanted to make it sound more like um, an analog, you know, drum recording. But check this out. So you can see that that could definitely get you places, especially if you you know start adding some different effects. You could you get some pretty interesting ideas really quickly. Really, just using all stock plugins doesn't take up a whole lot of CPU. Like it just seems like a good deal to me. So that's why I love um, audio effect racks. Just so you know, if in case you're not aware, uh, in your user library you have presets here that you can save. But what I did just for convenience was I just have a folder. I dragged a folder out here so I can access it at all times, drum, drums rack. 
and then I have my drum kits here and I also put an effect rack there as well. So you can have mixed stuff in these folders and kind of access it. So this has a bunch of drums and some different processing as well. Um, so that's kind of nice. I'll switch gears real quick and just show uh, what this would sound like over a totally different drum kit. So I have more of like an electronic kit here, similar beat or whatever. And uh, we'll just check this out. So yeah, it's just some subtle processing that you can get going pretty quickly. Um, anyway, I'm probably going to be working on these and making them a little bit more elaborate, but I just thought that it might have been a nice thing to share. Um, it could really help you speed up your workflow if you just put in a little bit of time to, to get some stuff set up in advance. Then you can have all these drum kits ready to go, ready to be mixed pretty quickly. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, my name's Lucas, and... Uh, Leave comments or whatever if you have any questions or any ideas. Um, thanks again. Take it easy.